today we're doing an account takeover for a friend of mine slash viewer ozzy man and he is struggling in the clan boss so right now he's actually struggling in clan boss and he's at 338,000. and here is the team he has really good heroes he has a good roster so what exactly is the problem let's dive into it welcome everybody welcome today's video is all about the account takeover for ozzy man i'm gonna be helping him out helping him to get more damage out of the clan boss Right now, he actually has a really good roster, and he's around 338,000. Now, if you look at his roster, he's got a bunch of 60s. So, the very first thing I'm looking for is he's got Opal, he's got Bulin, and he has Irondil. All of those should work. Jacob is fantastic as well. Jacob should work. And then he actually has William. All of these heroes are available. William is only level 50, but all of the rest of the heroes are available, so I feel like we have lots of heroes here to choose from. We also have Scarlet, who is not leveled, which is okay. We're not going to level her. We also have Hector. He is available for Team B later down the road once we open it up. And there are lots of heroes, including Gangalo and Yolanda, to run dungeons. And then we have Brand. So right now, what we're going to be looking at, what we're going to be focusing on primarily, is Bulin. Irondil, Jacob, and possibly William. I don't know how far we'll get since he is 50. We'll have to look at his gear. All right, so let's jump in to this takeover. We're going to start with Bulin because Bulin is absolutely amazing. Let's check her gear. Let's go over all of her stats and check her gear. She's at 121 speed crit rate, 36%. That is a big no-no. Crit damage is up there. However, if you are not hitting your crit cap, your crit rate cap is 100%. If you are not crit rate capped, Crit damage doesn't matter because you're never going to crit. So the first mistake is we are missing crit rate. Let's go ahead and take a look at gear. We have one warrior set and we have crit damage ring. I feel like that needs to go. Unfortunately, it is a five star plus 15 ring and the rolls, the substat rolls are really bad. So we're going to fix that. Glyphs. Glyphs are maxed out. That is really, really good. That is what I want to see. The glyphs are maxed out. That is absolutely amazing. Abilities. Abilities are non-existent. That is going to take some time. So that is going to be the next priority is to farm all of these gems to get the abilities maxed out. Number two, let's take a look at Irondil. Irondil abilities seem to be pretty good. They are almost maxed out except for the last one, which we can upgrade. Let's take a look at his info, see what's going on here. Speed, 126, not too bad. Attack is a little low. I prefer over 3,000 if I'm doing an account takeover. But we are going to try and fix this. Crit rate is at 78.5%. Crit damage is a little low, but we can work it. Jacob is up next on the list. Jacob is awesome. I really like Jacob. Let's see what he's working with here. Let's see if the stats are good. Stats are looking pretty good. Attack is a little low. However, crit rate is pretty good. Crit damage is pretty good. It's not 100%. But we are there, and I wonder if we're missing any glyphs. We are missing some glyphs, so once I have Ozzy Man farm some glyphs off camera, that is going to take way too long for me to do. There is the 5% missing crit rate. He should be very close to 100. Taking a look at the abilities, of course, abilities are not maxed out. That is going to have to um, be worked on. His ultimate is maxed out, which is great. That is what we need. The rest of them, we do, we do need abilities maxed out. And uh, the glyphs are level 4, and he is working on level 5, so that's not too bad there. However, there is still room to improve. And moving on to William. I believe William needs to be in this comp since he's amazing. We do have level 3 glyphs, almost all of them. I would recommend, and we'll see if we can finish this glyph off for him, maybe go to level 4. That should boost his base stats as well. And if we can take a look at his info, I believe... His stats are nowhere near ready, so we're going to have to increase the speed, increase the health, and then we'll see what we can do there. Let's go ahead. We looked at glyphs already. Let's look at the abilities. Again, missing abilities as usual, so this seems to be the extreme case, and uh, we are missing the abilities. And he is, look, he is using Opal right now in the current runs. Let's take a look at Opal. Glyphs are maxed out, which is awesome. Let's take a look at her stats. Speed is 149. So the stats on Opal are actually really, really good. I wonder if we can just put these on Irondil and we should be looking in good shape. We're going to take her out. Again, missing ability gems as always. So this seems to be a common theme here. Let's go ahead and take a look, see what kind of damage he's doing. And as I've mentioned before, he's doing 338,000. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually fix this for him. And uh, 
see if we can improve his damage. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to save this set as Opal. We're going to put it on Erendil, and then we're going to build out. We're going to use him, and then we're going to use William. So Erendil is going to get that. Right now, he's in an average set, which is the wrong set to use. I feel like he had the right idea. However, Erendil is a single target hero. He does not do AoE. Average set is going to be really good for somebody else. And we're going to see that in the future. Average set is really, really good for your AoE campaign farmer or your AoE arena nuker. So let's go ahead and equip all of Opal's gear. I feel like Opal is really, really good. All right, so Opal has good gear. We saved that. We're going to have to... Let's see who else we can upgrade. Erendil needs some work. Jacob needs a little bit of work. The good thing about Opal is she does hit hard. The trouble here is, I guess, the challenge here, if you are using Opal... With Jacob, you have to manual because their ultimates don't synchronize. So that is one thing to keep in mind. And I'm a big fan of not manualing. So what I would recommend him to do is take out Opal and put the gear on Erendil. But that remains to be seen in the future. So here's what we're going to do on Jacob. Right now, Jacob is in speed boots. He does not need to be this fast. He needs to be in attack percentage boots. So let's go ahead and see if we can find attack percentage boots for him and I believe we only have one attack percentage boots. And the trouble that I have when doing account takeovers is people usually tell me there's plenty of gear for you to choose from. However, none of it's leveled. So we have one pair of boots and that is what we're going to use. Now, one thing I just noticed here is if we use these boots, the crit rate drops really far down. So what we need to do is we actually need to figure out, can we find a ring... Let's go ahead and search for a crit percentage ring. And of course, this one is not rolled up. So that is going to be very, very tough. We have two crit percentage rings and none of them are leveled. So the challenge for me here is for right now, it looks like the gear is going to have to stay on Jacob. Jacob is a little fast. I'd like to see him a little bit slower and maybe uh, more crit damage percentage we can squeeze out of it. The challenge I'm seeing right now is there's just no rolled gear. There's no crit rate rolled gear there's no crit damage we just don't really have much to pick from so if we go to all of the gear we do have rolled gear however attack boots we have one pair we do have a couple of other things here but i feel like this is just not enough to pick from especially when we're missing skills let's go ahead and leave jacob the way it is all right so next on the list is bulan and she is in a crit damage ring however our crit rate is 36 percent Let's take a look, see if we have a crit rate ring. I feel like we don't. So the trouble here is maybe we can actually use this rage ring here, even though it's only five star, because that will complete the set. Right now we have three pieces of the rage set. And if we use the ring, that should complete the set. And right now without leveling the ring, we go up to 64%. So that should give us more damage. Let's go ahead and see if we can enhance it. I feel like there's not really many options here. A lot of this is junk, so we're going to scrap it. We're going to go right to nine because this is our only option. Flat attack, flat defense, horrible rolls. However, we don't really have much of an option here, so that is going to have to stay. Let's use that. That is an improvement. 75% is a good improvement. It's not a ton, but it is a good improvement. That is going to have to stay. And then, of course, our abilities are going to have to come into play as well. That is going to take some time to build. All right, so here's what we did. We did a little bit of re-gearing. I was able to find a bunch of gear that was not being used. And actually, we borrowed some from Balbareth, who is not that great anyway. And the stats we came up with is almost 4,000 attack on Erendil, which is awesome. The speed is okay, 125, almost 100% crit rate, not quite. And uh, 172 crit damage. Next, what we have is we do have Opal as well. Opal got re-geared slightly as well. Uh, attack is a little bit low. She is fast as she needs to be for her ultimate, which has the joint attack. Crit rate is overcapped. Crit damage is looking really, really nice. Northern Flames to Gaia's Renewal because we will need the extra healing because all of our heroes have around 10,000 HP. So let's see if we can do the clan boss and and get him a little bit more damage than the 330k that he was at previously. All right, turn order. 
Biggest thing here is the turn order. Opal needs to go first for her joint attack on her ultimate. So we're going to go in with the defense now. We're going to do joint attack here. That is her ultimate. That is going to give her one stack of joint attack. And then we're going to manual this to see if we can squeeze out a little bit more damage. Erendil has the buff from Jacob. So we're going to use the basic there. The whole idea here is to get Jacob as much rage as we can possibly get. And uh, Bulin's not at 100% crit rate, which is unfortunate. But that is the best we can do. Opal is going to be our target for the counterattacks, which is okay. She still has the buffs from Jacob, so we are working on filling Jacob's turn meter, or Jacob's rage meter, I should say. And then we'll have to see what happens with our turn meter, see who gets the bonus turn. Now, right now, everybody's still fairly slow, but we are doing okay. We're already at 88. We're already at uh, 83,000, which is not a ton, but considering we're going into round three, that's not too bad. And uh, our gear, we had slim pickings for gear. And then once Jacob was able to take his turn, which I think I'm going to wait, probably could have used it right away with Opal. But now I want to time it. Let's go ahead and use Erendil's ultimate unload there. He does a bunch of damage, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and use Bullen's ultimate as well. And right now, the key here for me is to time the ultimate of opal with the ultimate of jacob let's go ahead and take a look the ultimate is ready so let's go ahead and use that now what she's going to do is she actually has joint attack so right now opal has joint attack on her which grants her joint attack whenever a character uses their basic ability along the side of an ally so whenever an ally uses their basic ability she will join in and that is the perfect time to use jacob's rage Jacob's ultimate and then which is madness and then we're just gonna put on auto and let them go at it And now we have triple action here with Bulin joining in as well. There we go So now all four of them are attacking the clan boss and we're already looking much better than previously Now as I've mentioned before if you want to use opal, she's very very good however her ultimate and Jacob's ultimate don't synchronize very often, so you will most likely have to manual if you are using Opal. The other thing to do is to replace Opal with William, and that will work out very well, and you could most likely run everything on auto. That is what I do. My clan boss team right now does 2.2 mil, and I'm working on trying to get that to 2.5, and right now, it's all about gear. Now, we are looking pretty good. Everybody is doing okay. At this point, we're going to have to do a heal. So let's go ahead and do uh, maybe a heal here. Opal is getting the counterattacks from the boss. That is telling me she has the highest HP. And that is the perfect time to use Gaia's Renewal because everybody will get a little bit more health, which is nice. Let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and use the defense down. And now we start all over again working on building Jacob's Rage so he can go ahead and use his ultimate. And we will have to try and time Opal and Jacob together, trying to time their ultimates at the same time. So right now we're looking okay. I feel like we should be able to beat the previous record. But we are starting to take quite a bit of damage, so hopefully some of this healing will help. And then at some point we will work on their gear, replace their gear. And of course, remember, at this point none of their skills are leveled up. And we are still missing a lot of glyphs. So here we go. We are closing in on the previous record. And right now, we have just beat the previous record, which is awesome. And I feel like we can probably get to 500k with this team. And then we can push that to pro most likely 700, 800k once we upgrade everybody's skills. Opal's ultimate. I hope it lines up because everybody's getting really low on health. And luckily for us, Jacob is ready. So that lines up. Let's go ahead and hit auto. Maybe we can hit 500k with this team. We'll see what happens there. As I've mentioned before, we're missing a ton of skills. We're missing a bunch of glyphs. And we're missing some gear. We have some flat stat gear. So unfortunately, the gear was not readily available as I was believed to be. As, as I was hoping, as I, as I was expecting the gear to be available. Because I was told there was a lot for me to pick from. And uh, I felt like we had slim pickings. And we actually only had one pair of attack percentage boots. And that is not ideal. But as you can tell, we are now closing in on 500k. So a couple of small tweaks on run one. And that is 500,000. So we've already improved a lot in damage just from a few small tweaks. And now what we need is an upgrade of all of the skills and an upgrade of all of the glyphs. And that will help us push this team 
to 700 and something thousand. I feel like we can get to three quarters of a mil as soon as the skills are all upgraded. So there we go. The team damage is almost double. That's kind of cool. I'm very, very happy with this. Looks like this run is about to be over. Nobody has any revival gear. That was the other part. Nobody has any cursed gear as well. So this run is over. We did 550k, which is pretty good, or very, very close to it. 548 and a half. Might as well be 550, and we've improved it quite a bit. There we go. That is the first attempt. There is the first run. 548 and a half thousand. Let's take a look at the battle report and. And Bulin is actually number one, followed by Irindil, and then Opal is actually at the end. Jacob, not doing so well. Usually Jacob does a lot better than that, which means he needs much better gear than what he's wearing now. But we did improve. We did get a new high record. Let's take a screenshot of that. That's awesome. We're going to send that to Ozzy, and hopefully he'll be happy with this. He And he is actually number one. So he went from, I don't remember where he was, he was somewhere down here, number five, I believe he was. So he went from number five to number one in his guild, which is absolutely amazing. What a huge improvement considering the lack of gear and a lot of the missing skills. The uh, skills, once we upgrade all of their skills, there we go. Let's go ahead. One last round. Let's get that in. Maybe we can hit 600K, and uh, that's going to be almost double, right? We gained uh, 300K from 338 to 6. Let's see what it is. 620. I feel like that's going to be it. 618, that's probably going to be it. So we almost doubled with the same gear, and you've seen the lack of choices there. So I feel like that was a fantastic run. Really, really good. All right, so here we go. Ozzy Man, 618K up from 338. So he went from number 5 or number 6. I believe he was number 5. He went to number 1 by quite a bit. Here is the team, and I feel like we improved a lot. So this has been an account takeover for Ozzy Man. That's going to do it for me. Congratulations to Ozzy from going from number five to number one slot. And for more helpful videos, check out the top right.